If you ever need to record voiceover, it's easy. You just attach a mic to your computer and record directly to your timeline. Let's take a look at how. All right, I'm just gonna make sure that my timeline is selected and then press tilde to maximize. And I'm gonna record the audio down here on A3, so I'm gonna increase the size of that. And then I'm just gonna right click in this area here and choose customize. And we wanna add a couple of buttons here. First, you wanna add this R, which is the enable track for recording button. And then you also want to add this button here, the voiceover recording button. And I'll say OK. So I'm first going to select my little R here to make sure that Premiere Pro recognizes my microphone. If it doesn't, a little dialog box is going to pop up saying that your audio hardware hasn't been configured. So to configure your audio hardware, you would just come up to Premiere Pro, and then Preferences, and then Audio Hardware. This is under the Edit menu on a PC. And you would just need to select it from this little dropdown. If your microphone isn't in here, you might need to go to System Preferences on a Mac or Control Panel on a PC and make sure that the computer is recognizing your mic. All right, so mine is good to go, so I'm gonna say OK. And then next, I just right click here on the VoiceOver Record button and choose VoiceOver Record Settings. All right, so first of all, I can name this and I'm just gonna call it Letterpress Scratch VO 1. Here, your source is gonna be your microphone. It's already selected for me. And then here you can have a countdown sound cue, which can be pretty helpful. And you can also give yourself a pre-roll and post-roll. And then down here are your audio meters. This isn't to adjust anything, it's just to check to make sure that you're peaking properly. And again, I'm peaking right in between negative 12 and negative six, so I'm good to go. All right, so I'll close here. I'm going to come down to where I want to place my voiceover, about right here, and mark an endpoint. And then I'm just gonna make sure that I have my track targeted by clicking on the R, and then I'm going to click on the voiceover record button. And remember, I do have a little countdown that I have to wait for. And you do want to make sure to wear headphones or mute your speakers so that you don't get feedback. All right, so I'll press this button. Call 557-7624 or go to creativeletterpress.com to inquire about the many services of Creative Letterpress. And I'll click it again. And so now, here it is in the timeline. I'll go ahead and play it back. Call 557-7624 or go to creativeletterpress.com to inquire about the many services of Creative Letterpress. All right, and then I would just trim this last part off. And I do want to show you something else. If I press tilde again to minimize, you can see that I also had an audio-only clip deposited right here in my project pane. So I can go through several takes until I get it right. So it's pretty easy. Again, the only extra thing you might need to do is go into your system preferences or your control panel to make sure that your computer recognizes the mic. You also might need to install some drivers. And of course, Premiere needs to be configured correctly under the audio hardware preferences. But when all that's done, it's a pretty straightforward process to record your VO right into your Premiere project.